Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video we'll be discussing about uh, what are all the different types of assignments in Applied AI course and also at the end we will discuss about uh, if the assignments are hard or easy. So watch this video completely so that you, you will get a uh, complete idea about the assignments in Applied AI course. And if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live. And also hit that uh, like button so that uh, uh, I get motivated uh, from that and uh, make such videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's move on to the uh, discussion. But before I uh, go ahead, I would like to uh, tell you one thing. I have, I'm running a... Uh, uh, giveaway so you can participate in that giveaway you will find the uh, link to the announcement video in the description so you can check out that also so now let's move on to the discussion so uh, the first type of assignments are uh, programming assignments so uh, totally there are uh, four programming assignment as such i mean which are uh, completely dedicated to the programming so out of uh, those four assignments three are python uh, programming assignments and one is sql assignment so uh, out of these three python assignments uh, two are optional and one is mandatory assignment so uh, uh, i would suggest you if you are a complete beginner or you have very little experience with python uh, i would suggest you to uh, complete all the three assignments a third is actually mandatory so you will have to do it but uh, you should uh, do other two optional assignment as well because with that you will get a good understanding of programming and you will become fluent in uh, python programming and uh, the third assignment which is sql uh, personally even i felt uh, sql assignment was a uh, quite uh, difficult for me i am not very good with sql so um, um, I haven't completed SQL assignment yet. I I, I still have uh, some uh, two questions I guess left. Uh, I can't remember. I attempted it uh, in the beginning only. So uh, I actually I was able to do five to six questions easily. But after that I started to feel like uh, the assignment is actually uh, tough. Uh, and also a Python assignment I, I felt I am a very comfortable with python and i'm actually comfortable with python so i thought i'll be able to complete the assignment in just one hour or maybe even one and a half hour but when but actually it took me somewhere around uh, two to three hours to complete that assignment so the questions are not like just simple uh, programming assignments so uh, it will take you uh, it will take a good amount of effort to solve them and you will have to google a lot and still if you are not able to solve a particular question or if you are facing some issue uh, you can always reach out to the applied AI team. They will surely help you. They will provide you some external resources as well, uh, which will help you to uh, solve the assignments. So the main idea behind uh, keeping the programming assignment in the course is uh, when you go for interview, first round mostly will be on uh, Python programming so that uh, the inter interviewer will get the idea how well you are uh, with programming. So uh, I would suggest you to focus on these assignments. It will help you to improve your programming. So now let's move on to the uh, next type of uh, assignments, uh, which is implementing ML concepts from scratch. So uh, there are uh, libraries which will help you to implement several or maybe almost uh, every concept in machine learning uh, using those packages. But uh, in, the, in, this in this course, uh, they have included assignments in which you will have to uh, develop few concepts uh, from the scratch. So you will have to write uh, the whole code for that. Uh, for, uh, if I give you one example, uh, uh, you will have to implement a random search CV uh, on your own from scratch. Uh, I know uh, there is a package available uh, in sklearn you can find a random search CV, grid search CV. So uh, you can use that but uh, they have a given assignment where you will have to implement a random search CV from scratch. So the main idea or the main motive behind uh, these kind of assignments is uh, you will get a better understanding of a particular concept. Uh, if you just use a package, you will just learn how to use a package and maybe you just uh, know how uh, that particular function works, but uh, you won't uh, get to know uh, minute details of that particular algorithm or that particular concept. So uh, they have included these kind of assignments to help you to get a very a vast understanding of a particular uh, concept so uh, focus on these assignments uh, so that you can get better understanding of a, a particular concept or a particular algorithm or 
yeah so you got go you got the idea right so uh, in my opinion these assignments are very helpful and i am actually enjoying uh, solving these assignments uh, these assignments are uh, helping me to understand concepts really well so now let's move on to the uh, next type of assignments uh, which is solving real world problems using libraries uh, this you will be doing most of the time in the industry uh, but uh, also uh, if uh, you will have uh, like say you have some algorithm and uh, it is not working well with your use case so there are chances you will have to uh, tweak that particular algorithm uh, based on your use case so that's where uh, type 2 assignments will come into picture and uh, if the particular algorithm which is provided in the library is working very well for your use case then uh, there isn't any uh, requirement for uh, changing the algorithm so you will be most of the time using uh, libraries to solve your uh, real world use cases in the production as well so uh, uh, in the course videos they have covered almost all the uh, functions which are provided in a particular library so uh, they have covered uh, how to use that library and uh, also what are the parameters which we have to pass in that uh, function and uh, how to optimize that uh, uh, function and how to choose the right value for that parameter and uh, uh, which are the parameter uh, a particular parameter uh, by changing a particular parameter uh, what are the variations we get in the in that uh, function so they have covered all these things and when you will use it on your real world use case uh, you will get to know uh, how exactly it is working and uh, you will get a hands on experience uh, after using all these things uh, uh, they have covered good amount of mathematics and theoretical concepts in the course so when you solve these kind of assignments you will get a uh, practical knowledge you will get the implementation knowledge so these assignments will give you a uh, overall uh, picture uh, how to use the particular function and uh, it will help you to uh, use it in a uh, real world use cases so now with that being said let's move on to the next type of the assignments which is self case study and blog so uh, in this uh, course you have two self case studies and uh, you will have to write a blog for those self case studies so self case study is like end to end project which you will have to do on your own of course you can take help from applied ai team if you get stuck somewhere so in this uh, you will have to perform all the stages which are involved in data science life cycle uh, let's say uh, right from the collection of the data to the deployment of the model so uh, let's say you have you have selected your problem statement and uh, now you have to perform uh, data collection so you have to collect your data on your own and uh, then you will have to clean the data and uh, then uh, after pre processing you will do eda on your data and after eda you will uh, do feature selection or feature engineering then you will do a modeling uh, maybe you will uh, implement different models and whichever is the best model you will select that model and if you want to optimize that model even further you will optimize it and uh, at the end you will have to deploy your model so all these steps you have to do on your own and uh, if you are not able to select your problem statement on your own applied ai team will help you uh, to select the problem statement based on your uh, past experience or based on your past uh, uh, specialization in education uh, let's say you are from mechanical background or you are from civil background so based on your uh, past education or past experience they will help you to uh, select the case studies so this will give you uh, a very good understanding of a whole data science life cycle so in my opinion these were the major types of assignments which are included in the applied ai course and uh, if you are able to solve all these assignments uh, you will have a very good understanding of machine learning deep learning and overall uh, data science life cycle so i am actually enjoying it and as of now i have completed uh, eight mandatory assignments so uh, till now out of eight mandatory assignments i have uh, seen pro pro uh, programming assignment i have seen uh, developing things from scratch i have done uh, implementing uh, real world use case using libraries so i have covered these three types of assignments and the only left is uh, the self case study which i'll be doing in upcoming time 
and of course i will share my experience with you guys so if you want to know that you can uh, subscribe to the channel and now let's talk about if the assignments are difficult or easy so if you are someone who is uh, very new to programming and uh, uh, you haven't done programming a lot uh, especially in python so maybe there are chances that uh, you will face some difficulty in the initial stages so uh, what i would suggest you is practice uh, as much as you can uh, solve all those optional assignment as well as mandatory assignment and if you need additional uh, questions or additional problem statement you can uh, go to the lead code there you will have uh, over uh, 1700 uh, problem statements you can solve those so uh, by solving these many problems you will of course uh, get good fluency in programming uh, which will help you to uh, go ahead with the uh, course easily and uh, if you are someone uh, who face a difficulty in understanding mathematical concepts then you will have to put extra effort because as you know machine learning and deep learning is all about uh, mathematics probability statistics so uh, you will need to have a good grasp of over these topics and uh, if you are if you want to learn these topics you can uh, check out my video i have discussed in detail i will leave a uh, leave a card here or if i will i leave a, dis uh, a link in the description so you can check out that video as well and if you are someone who is uh, very comfortable with python programming and uh, uh, you are comfortable in understanding mathematical concepts so you will be able to solve those assignments uh, like uh, without much effort but still if you are facing some issue you can always uh, con contact applied AI team and uh, also you can use google for that so in my opinion uh, as of now uh, for me assignments aren't uh, very hard but uh, i still have a long way to go and uh, i'll share my experience with you guys as and when i move forward so uh, that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video and this video was informative for you so if it was informative for you please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel uh, for more such informative videos and uh, then see you in the next video bye